Love it or hate it, we do live in an age with artificial intelligence. And if you're looking for a completely free website, then here you go. This is StableDiffusionWeb.com. The artificial intelligence engine is Stable Diffusion. It's completely free. I'm going to click this Get Started for Free button. It just moves me down the page a tiny bit, and it says just enter your prompt and click the Generate button. The website is a little bit glitchy because it's so busy, so if you see nothing down here in the Stable Diffusion Playground, you can just refresh the page. You can wait a little bit. So I waited about five seconds, and it did pop up after a refresh. You're going to enter your prompt here. I'm going to type in something really random here, Funny Cat holding a bowling pin. I'll click Generate Image, and we'll see it starts processing here on the top right and as you can see there's a gray bar that's moving slowly to the right so it gives you an idea of how quickly this is going I've seen this processing number very very high so you can re it's really hit and miss depending on how busy it is and it gives us back four images I find this pretty funny with artificial intelligence everybody's raving about how great it is and yet some of the results come back that are like really stupid so like for example this one here on the top right is that supposed to be a bowling pin? Like, I don't even know what that is. There is one here on the right, bottom right, and it's a cat holding a bowling pin. So I want to give you three tips on how you can make this better so you're not getting these frustrating results as often. Tip number one is to simply just click the generate image one more time. And what'll happen is it'll generate a second time and it'll pretend as if it's never heard the request before. So it's going to give you four different results. You'll see the processing time here is a slightly bit different because it all depends on the number of users in the queue. Yeah, and so here here we can see that there's different results as well. So if you're getting repeatedly poor results, then you may want to go to tip number two. And tip number two is to be more descriptive in your description. So here I've got funny cat holding a bowling pin. Well, I'm going to remove the word funny, and I'm going to say cat holding a bowling pin in his paw. We're going to see if that changes things. I'm going to click Generate Image. Okay, so here's some results, and I'm glad that this isn't working properly because I found a lot of the videos online show these amazing results, and it's like I want to show you sort of the warts and all of what's going on here. So you can see this cat, the bowling pin's not even on the screen. This is not really a bowling pin, and I don't even know what's going on here. I mean, there's a cat with a soother or something. So these are not great results. So what you may want to do is change the wording of it. So for example, kitten standing next to a bowling pin. And we can see here we've got some better results. The one on the top right I think looks especially nice. The one in the bottom right I think we can live with as well. So there's certainly some results here that are decent. You can Again, you can always go back to tip number one and just click generate image a second or third or even fourth time. Tip number three is to add some sort of a filter into the search engine. So here I'm going to I'm just going to switch this up and I'm going to say kitten in the style of Picasso. And I'm actually going to make him a black cat. I'm going to change kitten to black cat. So black cat. That's going to give the AI machine a filter to run things through in a style, in an artistic style. And we can see the results that have come back I think look fantastic. This would take me a long time to draw these by hand or use Photoshop and instead you could just grab one of these at will. So I'm just going to open up the first one, the first tab. You can see here there's the image. You can just right click and you can save. I'm using Google Chrome for what it's worth. You can also click the image itself and you can scroll through them on the bottom. I think these look absolutely fantastic. So again you can generate a second go round of it if you like or you can change one of the words in the prompt, in this case Michelangelo. And I think these look pretty cool, especially the one on the top right. I really like that one. So if you were making some sort of a medieval portrait, you may want to pick the style of the artist. And this is something that I would definitely sell as a fine art printer, put it up on my wall. So I hope you found this helpful. Three tips. I do like Stable Diffusion, although it is a bit clunky at times. You just need to make sure to use those three tips to help maximize your chances of getting great search results. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills.